this is your girl Nikki J and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time visiting my channel hey welcome and please remember to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a video in today's video I will be doing my first ever five below haul just like the Dollar Tree I visit five below very often Probably not as much as I do the Dollar Tree, but I do go to Five Below a lot. At least once a week, maybe. Maybe not that much. But I do go a lot. <laughs> and I love the stuff in Five Below. You know, it's a little bit more elevated than it is in the Dollar Tree. But Five Below has some amazing, amazing items. And I want to share the things that I found this week with you all. One of the items that I just while I was there is this deluxe studio light I'm actually using it now it comes in three light modes so that is freaking amazing and I used it um, this morning as well so when I was applying my makeup so it really illuminates the face so this is uh, a great product and it was just $10 Another thing I purchased while I was at Five Below is this wireless shower speaker. I love listening to music all the time. I'm a musician, I'm a singer, I'm an actress, I'm a songwriter. Um, so music is all of me. It is ingrained in me. And so I listen to music quite often. So I've always wanted a shower speaker. So I saw one of these at Five Below. So I decided to pick it up. And I haven't tried it out yet, so I will try it out tonight and see how well it works. And it says you can, hold on, before I move on, it says that you can answer and end calls. It has a built-in mic to answer calls. It's a powerful speaker. It can play music from your MP3 devices and, of course, from your smartphones. So I think this is going to be quite an item. Then I purchased a sunrise alarm clock. This sunrise alarm clock, I think um, everyone should get an alarm clock. I had an alarm clock that I had all through high school and into college because there were no cellular devices. And when you did have a cell phone, it surely didn't have an alarm feature on it. <laughs> it was a flip phone. Um, nevertheless, um, I have decided to get an alarm clock and not rely solely on my cell phone to wake me up because it is such a distraction. So I wanted to power off my phone um, at night, shut it down so that I can get a good night's rest. And it was highly recommended by my physician to uh, remove the cell phone um, at night so that my brain would have time to shut down and then rely specifically on an alarm clock. So I got this sunrise alarm clock and it is uh, supposed to increase the lighting beginning 20 minutes before the alarm glow goes off, allowing you to ease into your morning. So I'm excited to see how this works. I'll use that for work <laughs> tomorrow. Then I got this planner. I am a planner. I have multiple planners at a time. I have a personal planner and I have a business planner. And people are like, why do you need two planners? Well, things that I have to do in my personal life, I, I need to have that calendar separately. And then I have to have a calendar for work because of course I have to have, you know, things that I, I need to have deadlines set on for my clients. Um, and closing dates and I need to have them in my phone as well as in a paper document so that I can visually see it. I am very visual. So I was able to purchase this planner. It was five dollars and it's it says 2020 and 2021 but it's not dated. So you have enough tabs for two years and what I liked about this particular planner is that it has a tracker. It has the tracker in here. And the front of the planner, it says, think positive thoughts. And so in here, it has positive practices, health, relationship, and it has a habit tracker. So it's a 31-day habit tracker so that you 
can start healthy habits or good habits and break unhealthy or bad habits. So as you can see, sometimes you don't know you do a specific thing until you actually document it and you see what it is you're doing. And I like this particular planner because it assists you in tracking those things. And each page has, um, each section has a section for you to put the month and then date the month out. So this could be your quick glance calendar. And then there is the week section. And then you can put in what you have to do day by day individually and it just breaks it out for a week. And so this was five bucks and you know how much planners and stuff like that cost. And so I thought this was a great investment. And it says at the front that it's so amazing. This year will be amazing, amazing because, and you, because you're gonna you're gonna manifest it. You're gonna say that I'm gonna have an amazing year, and it comes with these stickers that you can put to put on each tab for your month. So I love 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 this. I was like five bucks, yo. She's getting it. Speaking of planners, oops. Speaking of planners, I also got this planner. This is five, and it it's not dated. It's a DIY personalized planner set, and it includes the mini pan planner that's 40 sheets, one notepad that's 20, you have 20 sheets, and then there's two sticker sheets and one gel pen. So these were five bucks. So I went on and grabbed one that says plans on it and one that says I can, end of story. Very motivational. And you can see those stickers there. And I hope that light isn't acting wonky on here. And it has that gel pen. You can see that as well. So, I was like, yes, I'm getting this. And in case I want to gift them, I can definitely gift them. But I love these planners. Again, so I'm going to have these. These are going to be stored up because sometimes the year goes fast. Just like 2020 went. Just like that. And I was like, oh my God, I need a planner. I need a planner. I, I need to hurry up. And I finally found the one um, at Stymart. It wasn't the one I really liked, but I needed a planner. And then I was relegated to getting one of the Dollar Tree ones, which is okay. And then I also needed a planner to plan out content. So, boom. Now we have planners. What else did I get? Oh, this makeup brush washing machine so i thought it was cute and it says it's a fun way to clean your makeup sponges and brushes one fill with water and add your cleanser dunk your brushes or your sponge push the button to start spinning drain water with the hose repeat until water is clear so i just was like i'm gonna try it so let me just open it on camera with y'all because i haven't opened it and i don't know what it looks like oh it's Adorable. My little niece is gonna think it's it's for her Barbie dolls. I might just buy one for her to play with for her Barbie dolls. But it is so cute. Look at it, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it it's a top load, of course. Let me see how I can get this open. Oh, wait a minute. It's not open. Okay, there we go. And it has the little agitator down there. And I guess you you have to put batteries in it, of course. So it has the uh, battery thing there. But you put water in there and you push this little button. Oh, my goodness. And it has a hose that you can drain it into your sink. I just come up with anything. And I'm okay with that because <laughs> I love it. I love miniature things. Not all miniature things. Not all. Some miniature things. But not all miniature things. I don't like all miniature things. But this is a cute little gadget. I love gadgets. 
I'm like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> I love a gadget. Um, what else? 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 Oh yes. Wonder Woman, eighty-four, t-shirt from Avalo. So you know it was five bucks. And anyone that knows me knows that I am a Wonder Woman fan. Since I was a little girl, honey, wearing Wonder Woman underoos, watching Linda Carter on TV, honey, flying in her invisible plane and swirling around her golden lasso, this chick was here for all the Wonder Woman. And so, as an adult, I love Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is on my car. Not in a uh, cheesy way. I just have the, the WW sticker on my back window. She's on my laptop. She's in my office. She's at my office at work. <laughs> um, I have Wonder Woman ornaments that people have given me. Um, so, yeah, if you know me, you know I am a Wonder Woman fan. So, I had to get this t-shirt when I saw it. Okay. And then I purchased these circle photo displays. I thought these were adorable. I'm considering what I'm going to do with these. I don't know if I want to do a DIY project or do I actually want to add photos to it. Um... Lord, I'm sorry. I was baking lasagna and, and it went off. <laughs> so, where was I? I got these. These um, circular or circle photo displays. I'm not certain what I'm going to do with these. I don't see myself actually putting photos in here. I may just use it as a form of um, wild decor. Let me just see. It is just amusing to me. And I probably will use it as a wild decor. Because it's just a circle. And it has other circles. So I'll probably just use it as a wild decor. Um, that's more my zhuzh when it comes to stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do with these items. Oh, uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got this Air Fryer Instapot cookbook with over 75 cook recipes. You guys know that I have my cooking segment with my Come Cook With Me. And most of the recipes that I do, or all the recipes that I do, are recipes that um, I just come up with in my mind. Or I try to do... Um, an adaptation of a recipe that I've seen and want to try it in a different uh, genre. Like, oh, let me try to see if I can do it in an air fryer or see if I can do it in my Instapot or see if I can just bake it or if I want to fry it or something along those lines. So I picked this up because I was just interested to see what the recipes were and, you know, just to find something different to do with my air fryer and my Instapot because, of course, Every day, you're like constantly on the move. And as the world opens up again, I'm going to always be on the move. So to be able to throw something in the Instapot or in the air fryer and get a nice healthy meal quickly is going to be a plus. And sometimes you just want to do a no-brainer. You don't want to think about it. So if you got a recipe book that's going to provide that information for you, why not use it? So I picked this up and I think it was $5. If it wasn't $5, it was $10. I don't think nothing there is over $10. But anyway, what else? Oh, yes. I actually got some cosmetic items. So I decided to purchase this LA Color Loose Powder um, to use it to set my under eyes whenever I put concealer on. I'm just going to try it. It was, what, three bucks? I think it was three bucks. I'm going to try it. It's a loose powder. I normally use a white translucent powder so i want to try this and this is a, a natural translucent powder so i want to try this and see how this works and so we'll try it you know on on film so that you guys can see you know i'm a chocolate girl she's chocolate so let's see if this works for us without us looking ashy okay 
And I purchased this um, eyeshadow palette from LA Colors and it is called Sunset Breaks. And so I thought that was pretty cute. I love those tones in there. It looks like there's some, some um, like a purple, glittery purple and a glittery brown and a, and a matte um, like nude color. And then there's kind of like a orangey color yeah, an orangey color and a brown that's matte and then kind of a shimmery, glittery um, gold color. If you can see those. So, hey. It's a dollar. Let's try it. And then they had this Black Radiance Eye Appeal Shadow Palette. Guys, it was two bucks. And this one is called Box of chocolate i love black radiance i use a black radiance foundation and black radiance blush those are like the shades that i have found that don't make me orange that don't wash me out that don't make me look ashy um i just kind of started using the uh, maybelline um matte poreless foundation liquid foundation and it it's cool it's cool I, today i felt like it was kind of settling in my pores um so that's how i felt today now i don't know y'all tell me because i can't i don't know anyway but black radiance has been my go-to foundation forever and my go-to blush like i absolutely love their um baked blushes so i've been using them for years and so i decided to pick up this box of chocolate shadows and it was only two dollars at five below so i got that and it has like the black and the and the golds and the uh, nudes and the chocolates and it has some shimmery tones and some matte tones so i think i will be using these palettes here um in the very very near future and then i got this next uh palette um and this is called Shadow Play. And the name is called I See You. And they have some chocolates in there, some golds and some greens and then like a white. So I am going to try this palette out too. And I think that's it for your girl. I, 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 I did a little damage this time at the dollar uh not the dollar tree at five below and it was beyond me at that particular time because i had to stop and go and get a basket so i knew that it was about to get crazy so i'm gonna wrap this video up because girlfriend had made some lasagna and it's smelling amazing and i'm hungry so i'm gonna eat so <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in today. And so that concludes our five below haul for today. So again, if this is your first time visiting my channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload videos. I upload videos on Wednesdays and Friday. And once a month, I do a come cook with me video. I try to focus on trying to get those videos uh 30 minutes or less on the Come Cook With Me videos, but they're typically not 30 minutes long. Never. Um, but anyway, I just want you guys to try to get to five below because they got some, some cute stuff. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I'm wishing love and light to you and yours. And please remember to be kinder than necessary because you never know what someone is going through. Thank you, and I'll see you in our next video. My future is bigger, brighter. Now that I removed.